What is up, YouTube? It's the Repo Man 360 coming at you with a guest appearance of Roscoe. Hey, Roscoe, there you are. He decided he wanted to be in the video. Love you, bud. Come on. There you go. All right, so now it is the long awaited FYE final video. They are now officially closed. Unfortunately, uh, the original video I shot really needed that extra footage that I had shot in the store. So I just decided I'm going to go ahead and reshoot everything and try and cut it down in time a little bit because it was running a bit long. So first you will note all the nice things up here. Uh, those all came from the store. Uh, you can kind of see you got a Wii U Triton headset there, Skylander Swap Force, some Skylander Giant figures, some Mario keychains that were like 50 cents each. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and then some Mario Galaxy 2 as a B. Uh, we've got the NBA Ballers, which, uh, <laughs> Baller Beats, I'm sorry, which I have not one, but two of. <laughs> I'll be balling out of control. And you can see these Skylander Giant Starter Packs. They're the, the ones that don't have the portal. They were three bucks a piece. It was pretty awesome. So uh, let's get into the one like non-game related thing that I snagged, uh, which would be Season 3 Part 1 of Transformers, the original cartoon, and Part 2 and Season 4. That was like two bucks a piece. Those, that was a pretty screaming deal. Okay, next up we're going to go with what's over here on uh, PSP wise. Uh, I had decided to cap out with a Vita protective film. Uh, I decided to get the car adapter. Uh, I got used copy of Virtual Tennis 4. Uh, no, uh, no paper. I don't, you know, I don't know whether they come with papers or not anymore. And a new copy of Lego Chinma. And for $35, got a 32 gigabyte memory card for the Vita. The Vita I don't have. One day. So I'll move on to the PS2. And we have the Gilded Fate Paradox. And this is a new copy with the soundtrack. I don't, I don't know if you can tell. And it's a, uh, it's an extra. You can probably see it good there. There's the soundtrack, a sticker that says there's a soundtrack, and two new copies of Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time, that comes with the cross buy Vita download. For the Vita, I don't have. <laughs> Alrighty, now we will move on to the PSP. Uh, PSP, I got used Napoleon Dynamite, the game, MLB The Show, which is apparently my favorite game, uh, and this one is 2010, Local Roco, NBA 2K11, now these two are new, and that is the Michael Jackson Experience, which... I don't, I don't know a whole lot about PSP games as far as rarity, but I gotta think that the ones that came out later in life are probably gonna be harder to find, especially new. And NBA 2K13, <laughs> number one video NBA video game. Okay, all right, so let's move on to the Xbox 360, and <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to leave one 360 title out because it's kind of special. It's, it, I'm going to finish with it. We've got El Shaddai. Is that how you say it? Lucha Libre. This was an excellent deal. 80 for 80% 80 off of used. And it was lower than the price that's up there. So you can, you can imagine this was a really good deal. Persona 4 Arena. This was a bit of a filler. Uh, Green Day Rock Band. That's a little over a buck, I think. And a new copy of Final Fantasy XI 
the Seekers of Alduin. I have all the other discs except for, I believe, the Vanadil Collection Volume 2. I have the first volume, but not the second one. Uh, so, happy to get that. It does have... It is new, but it has this nick here, unfortunately. So, a bit of a bummer on that. But I think if you're a 360 collector, this will probably be hard to find at some point. Okay, let's move on to the Wii. Okay, and for the Wii, we have Centipede Infestation. Uh, I didn't realize it at the time. I was just kind of grabbing stuff, but this thing looks like it's got Coca-Cola in it. Uh, but it's the special edition of Conduit. Luxor 3. And these are these are kind of filler. I, I'm real light on my Wii, and I don't. I really didn't know what to get, so I just kind of got what I could. Um, Bakugan, Defenders of the Core, and this is new. This is a new copy. Uh, a new copy, I believe. Yes, new of Totally Spies. This looks like a Grimsy 42 Greatest Hit. Alright, uh, Line Rider Unbound 2. And since sport games seem to be hot, uh, this was out of place. I think it's the only reason why it's still there. A new copy of FIFA Soccer 12 with the fancy shiny cover. I don't know if you can tell it's shiny, but it is. All right, um, we're moving on to the DS slash 3DS because there's a little 3DS mixed in here. All right, we have River Valley. Woo! Mi I'm sorry, River King Mystic Valley. <laughs> WarioWare DIY. Now this is new. That's Steel Princesses, uh, and all the new stuff was, uh, I believe, 50% off, plus 10, uh, so it was 60% off, uh, but the, it has one of those heat burns in the plastic from when it's uh, sealed, so it's it's right there, it's a little hole, but you can obviously tell it hasn't been opened, so that was a bit of a bummer, but I'll probably play it anyways. Okay, we have Magical Star Sign. Uh, the the one 3DS game in here. The 3DS games got picked clean before I got there, so that was a bit of a bummer. Uh, I should have grabbed a couple when I had a chance, but I was trying to make this big grandiose video of me finding things, and uh, it didn't work out for me so good. Okay, so then we have Spirit Camera, which I'm actually really interested in playing this, which is the spiritual successor to the Fatal Frame from the original Xbox. And I believe it might have been on PS2 as well. Uh, and then two sealed copies of Pokemon Black 2. Version 2, I should say. So happy to get that. And personal trainer walking. I thought uh, it, it comes in a box and it's got a fancy thing. So eventually this will probably be worth something. All right, let's move on to the Wii U, uh, which I went crazy for the Wii U. I have a Wii U. Uh, I don't know that I ever showed it on a on a pickup, but I have the limited edition Zelda Wii U. I figured it was three hundred bucks. Came with a digital download of the game, and it was a limited edition. They 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 just dropped it down to three hundred, so it seemed like it was worth it. And now it seems you can still buy them, so it's I don't know how limited it really is, but I digress. Let's get back into it. All right, and these are all used and used like I said with eighty percent off, so I was getting screaming deals on anything that was used. So we have Just Dance Four, Splinter Cell Blacklist. And this one just happens to be open, so I can show you that it is complete. Uh, NBA 2K13. Might look familiar. <laughs> Darksiders 2. 
And this is a new copy of Zumba Fitness. Again, it comes in a box, so I try to get a lot of the stuff that comes in a box. Sing Party comes with a mic. Also comes in a cardboard fancy box. It was cheaper than that. This is new, uh, so that was nice. And another headset, they had white, black, and red. They had the most they had were black. So I, I took a chance. I got one ooh, 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 white and one red. As like I said, it seemed like black was the one they had the most of. So uh, I, accessories were half off uh, plus my 10%. So excellent deal on those. I think they were like 22 bucks a piece. And I also got the foot meter. I don't know if you can quite see it up there. Uh, so this is a big old bag of shirts. I'm not going to pull every single shirt out, but I have like a shirt stash uh, that uh, it seems like I can get my hands on a good deal on shirts, but they're never my size. So I always try and trade them for shirts that are my size. Uh, I am uh, now comfortably fitting into two X's, so I might be switching to two X. So I'm, I'm uh, happy about that. Uh, but these shirts are mostly small to extra large. There were the the Green Lantern shirt you saw me wearing was, I think, the only shirt I actually bought that I can wear. This uh, just to give you a taste. That's an XL. Got a bunch of Big Bang theme shirts uh, and DC shirts. Uh, here is a Batman, and I believe it glows in the dark or something like that. So, you can imagine, uh, there's some Battlefield 4, I think some Walking Dead. This whole bag is of shirts, and the shirts were, the most I paid for a shirt was $5. They were anywhere from, uh, 2 and change to $5. So, that was an excellent, excellent deal. Uh, I wish I could have found some more in my size. But I'm going to finish with this thing that I'd looked at on the shelves forever and ever and ever. Kept waiting for a price drop. And it was actually a little cheaper than the sticker. I got it for half off plus 10% uh, because it is new. And bam. That's right. You don't know what that is? I wouldn't know what that is either unless I was hipping with it. So give me a shot of the back there. Woo, okay. That's right, it's the Street Fighter 25th Anniversary Edition. It does have a little rip in the cardboard there, uh, but you can see the cardboard sleeve just slips off. This bit is still sealed, and it's plastic. So it is in super great, fantastic shape. Absolutely thrilled to have it. Uh, shoot the price there. It's actually a little cheaper than that. So I got this for, I believe, about 53 something like that. So absolutely thrilled to get it. And I spent a little more than I wanted to, especially uh, making extra trips to try and shoot more video. Uh, but the store is closed now. I can't go there anymore. I have a lot of fond memories about working there. Uh, I worked before it was FYU with Sam Goody and I met a, a lot of great friends there uh, that I still talk to today. It transitioned from Sam Goody to FYE. I stayed for a little bit and I ended up working a few holiday seasons there and made some new friends and it, it was uh, definitely an excellent experience. Uh, the kind of place where you got to learn about all sorts of things that maybe you weren't really into. So that you, were, you became knowledgeable about uh, music and movies that maybe you didn't like and and you got introduced to, to new things like I'd never watched anime before I worked there and I love anime now so it is definitely a, a great experience I'm gonna miss the store uh, thanks for watching guys you saw a lot of great stuff and you know about the giveaway if you watched my previous video if not I'm gonna leave a link to it down below so you can expect some of this wonderfulness and maybe a few other Brucies to be coming to at least one lucky winner. I haven't decided yet, but uh, the, the 
the subscriptions keep going up, and I definitely, if, if it gets up to 200, there'll definitely be three prizes. So, keep telling your buddies. Thank, thank you to all my new subscribers. I, I hope I can keep bringing you some great stuff. It's going to be tough to find things. I'm going to have to shift my focus, maybe do some more online, maybe hit Craigslist a little harder. But definitely, guys, thanks for watching. Keep hitting those thumbs up. Give me the comments down below. Tell me how I'm doing, and take care.